Alright, hello YouTube, this is Ahi. So this week I'm going to tell you how you can create a fake impulse from an existing recording. So here I have a session where I have a short clip from a Children of Bottom song. Uh, let's listen to it. Alright, that's the clip. So it's one, two, three, four seconds long. So what I am first going to use is I stop ozone. So we are going to have the snapshot time as infinite, and then we are going to press the start capture, and we are going to loop the section because it's only four seconds long. <laughs> That's enough. So this is the guitar. Now what we are going to do is that we are going to use the match EQ. We have the pink guide here and then we apply the guitar reference to it and we get this sort of curve. All right, so we are going to put the smoothing to zero and the amount to 100. And if we want to now test how this sounds, Let's see if we can do something here. So, because for example, I noticed this bump came from a bad loop, so at maybe 100 hertz, and then use a low shelf. I think I'm going to also do a low pass, gentle one, around here. All right, as we can hear, that kind of works. Then what we are going to do is that we are going to turn off the part farm and before the isotope ozone we are going to use waves Q capture. Lovely. So this is a signal generator basically and what we are going to do now is that we are going to export this printed guitar. We do a mono mix down and import it as audio track. Export overwrite. Now we can remove this guitar reference. And then we will make a new audio track, mono, guitar, and here we will use the cue capture. But we don't need to listen to this, so we can just pull it back. And here we are going to put the Q clone, put it to capture mode. When we press play, we should see we get signal. And now we press hold. All right. Then we click put into present menu as children of bottom guitar. We can now remove the printed guitar. As we can see, now it is here. So now if we try to play guitar with this, so that we have the part farm here, then we have the cue clone. All right, and a bit of tweaking. All right.
right, so I used some free plugins to get this sound. So here I have an expander, a tube screamer, a uh, lecto, and the uh, Julian Fodum guitar sound. I quad tracked, added some MIDI bass, MIDI drums, and it sounds like this. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this quick demonstration. If you have any questions or comments, please write them down in the comments below. Thank you for watching and make good music.